What's up, everybody? This is Alex from WMD back at you one more time. This time we're going to be talking about basic pitch sequencing with Volterra. So we did a getting started video, and this might be a little bit redundant, but I figured I'd just do a nice quick short one on how to do this. So we've got a little subtractive voice up above here that you cannot see, and we've got a gate going out into the envelope, and uh, we've got a Volterra going into the Volt Per Octave on the oscillator. So if I bring it up, you can hear our gates right now. I can change up the gate pattern. And then this is our Volterra track. So we're going out of Volterra number one. So what we're going to want to do is figure out our voltage range. So we can use a user scale, or we can go through and use unquantized voltages, or we can use these quantized voltages. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go 0 to 5 quantized, and we're just going to make a quick little sequence. So first one, I'm just going to hold, turn the knob, and you'll see on the screen what's changing. So now we're on C, we'll go up and we'll just go an octave up, and, and then we'll go back down. Now this one, I'm going to try and do like a minor scale thing, so I'll go up to uh, E flat, and then up to G maybe. Go back down to C there. There we go, now we've got two octaves up. So now we just add a little kick drum. To our action, I'll go out of channel 2 here for that, and bring that sucker in. Oh, I put that into fracture, huh? <laughs> Kick drum. And there you go, we made a sequence super, super fast. So that's basic pitch sequencing. So the relationship between the gate and the sequence here, um, that's something I wanted to talk about and touch on in this video. So again, here's our baseline, and these are the triggers going out into my, uh, into my uh, gate of my envelope. And if I want to see where I've got voltages changing, I just press the select button on the Volterra I want to see. And then we can see on the screen here, I've got channel, or on the display, the matrix, I've got channels one through four on my Volterra moving across here. So I've got voltage changing all the spots where I've got gates, which you can see I put those in the exact same spots as my gates from my Metron. So what happens if we change the gates in Metron? Well, our Volteras stay the same. So I've said this quite a few times, but the just to reiterate, Volterra's uh, CV sequences are completely independent of the gates. So if we bring those back, now we can see that those are all changing with the, uh, with the gates. So again, just a quick little tip of how to, how to sequence your pitches. I just cleared out my voltage by holding clear and doing our turn gesture, turning up to the top. But when we got that going, I just like to use, look at my gates here and then just hold those steps. That's how I like to sequence where my, where my voltages are going to change. Just look at the gates here and then add, add my voltages only to those steps. So there's another quick sequence. All right, so voltage recording. We can also just record knob movements, right? So we can hit record and we can just wiggle the knob. And now if we go into Volterra, you'll see that we recorded uh, voltage changes on pretty much every step. So what if we want to just take those out? Well, the best way to do that right now is just hold select, look at your gates here, and just put your finger over the blank ones and just take those voltages out. And you can just take them out by pressing that step. And now, again, we've got voltages only locked to the gates. All right, so let's clear that again. We're just going to hold clear, turn the knob to the top. That's going to zero us out to zero volts. And we'll just go and make another little sequence real quick. 
and again. And so right now you can hear that my voltages are only changing every time the step that I'm holding comes around. So if we want to get uh, quicker into hearing this, we can just hit the select button while we're holding our step. And now we can audition the sound. So we can say, okay, that's the note I want. All right, there's my sequence. So we can use variations. So if we want to make a whole new variation here, we can go into B, do my kick drum line, and actually that's my Voltaire line. So I'm just gonna do those right there, and then we'll do our kick drum line on the off notes. And then we'll just go through here and change some notes. And so I kind of like to work within the C minor scale. It's one I know by heart. I know the notes in it, so it's pretty easy for me to use this chromatic scale. Again, you can use a user scale if you'd like. There's instructions on how to do that in the manual as well as in our basic sequencing um, uh, video. So now we're ready to go. I'm just going to press go on B, and at the end of the phrase, we're going to change. And so that is the new sequence I wrote on the fly. All right, so that's it. Basic pitch sequencing, basic note sequencing to make bass lines and melodies and stuff like that. Obviously, you can do longer gate lengths and things like that to uh, make your lines a little bit more expressive. But um, I was just using triggers in that one because that's the fastest, most quick way to get yourself going. So we've got a couple more videos coming out, so uh, stay tuned. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.